So if you have not heard, there are truckers who are on strike right now, Massachusetts and New York State, and this could spread if their demands are not met. Now, we were just hearing about the railroad workers that were on strike, and I said, wouldn't it be great if the truckers joined them, if they paired with, the, would paired with them and said, you know what, we're not being treated fairly either, we're also gonna go on strike. It is now happening, and let's see if this could spread. Now, shout out to Teamsters because they tweeted this out. It says, Cisco strikes continue as talks break down. After more than six hours of talks, negotiations between Teamsters and Cisco broke down Wednesday evening. As a result, more than 500 workers in Syracuse, New York, and Plimpton, Massachusetts, continue their strike against the company's unfair labor practices. Let's give a shout out to these guys doing the damn thing. It says 317 stands strong. 120 supports, it's either 120 or I-20. I think it's 120. 120 supports 317's fight Teamster strong. And this is the Cisco truck back here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Cisco. Um, but we have them. They're pretty, pretty big here in Massachusetts. They're usually always hiring too, which is interesting. <laughs> oh dear. So let's get into more details about this. Now I found out about this on the local level first. So it says, this is boston.com. Massachusetts trucker strike raises concerns about disrupted food delivery. What did I tell you guys? I told you. You got to get the truckers to join. The Cisco warehouse in Plimpton, south of Boston, is still operating 24-7 with third-party drivers and hope to be up to 50% of normal capacity by Wednesday. Now, today's Thursday. The negotiations didn't work out yesterday, which was Wednesday. So here we are. All right, let's go on. Hold on to your food, guys. Hold on to your donuts, your loaf of bread, and that milk that sits in the back of the corner. Because who knows what is going to happen from here. More than 300 truck drivers at New England's largest wholesale food distributor have gone on strike. 300. 300. 300. Raising concerns about disrupted food deliveries to schools, hospitals, and nursing homes. It's hidden hard, guys. The drivers represented by the Teamsters Local 653 took to the picket line at Cisco Boston early Saturday seeking better pay and benefits. Management took their aber aberrant, excuse me, anti-worker treatment to no low, new lows. Can't talk. Giving a take it or leave it final offer that strips their essential workers of high quality union health insurance. Oh, what do you know? How do you know that health insurance was going to be one of the complaints, one of the benefits that they're fighting towards? How did you know? Of course. Denies members of a secure retirement with a union pension and offers meager wage increases amid drastically rising inflation. You know, what a corrupt system that we have. They don't want to give these people high health, high quality health insurance. They don't even want to give them some type of retirement pension. This is capitalism. This is capitalism for you. Let's go on. Last week, about 230 drivers at a Cisco facility near Syracuse, New York, also went on strike, alleging unfair labor practices. Cisco said in a statement that the Massachusetts drivers make about 110,000 annually on average and that it has offered a wage increase over of excuse me 25% of the life of the contract. The Houston-based company also said it is offering more healthcare options at lower cost compared to the current plan. Here's the thing about the healthcare issue. If we had Medicare for all for everyone in this country, we wouldn't have to worry about this. This would not be an issue. Employees would not have to sit up there and fight 
their own employer over having decent health insurance plan. This is what happens when your health insurance is tied to your job. Here we go. The work stoppage is unnecessary and union leaders have taken this action with little regard for damage it will cause to our associates and our customers. Now that's coming from the, co the, the company there. Uh, I disagree with that statement from the company. I'm pretty sure the workers know exactly the type of damage that it is going to cost the customers. That's exactly why they're doing it because they know it will have an impact because they want you to meet their demands. So this is the option that you have, Cisco. You either meet their demands or your customers will suffer. That's how it works. There's no middle of the road. There's no in between here. So do you want your customers to suffer? Probably not. So you should just give them what they're asking for. See how this works? This would be great. Imagine if this spreads to other states, if the other truckers contact other states and say, yeah, we're on strike. You guys should join us. We're on strike. Come join us. Let's shut this system down. In New York, the union did not allow drivers to vote on the company's offer, which included wage increases and a 2,500 signing bonus. That's coming from Cisco. Tara Gregorio, Gregorio, president of Massachusetts Senior Care Association, an industry representing about 400 nursing homes and assisted living residences, said Tuesday that the trucker strike has raised concerns among some members, but that she has not heard of any missed deliveries. Nursing homes are also prepared to adapt, seeking altern alternate sources for food as they did during the pandemic and recent supply chain slowdowns. I wonder how the family members who have relatives in those nursing homes, I wonder how they would feel about that. What are these alternate food sources that you're looking towards? Is this healthy food? Is this food that is really gonna nourish their bodies? Look, I worked in a skilled nursing facility. I know what the food is like. The food was already not that good <laughs> to begin with, with no trucker strike. So I also know how much it costs to keep your relatives, your family in those nursing homes. I know how much a private room in a nursing, a nursing home can cost. I know how much a shared room in a nursing home can cost. And even in a state like South Carolina, which has a lower cost of living, you had people paying $6,000 a month for a private room in a nursing home. People who were pretty much at the last stages of their life, $6,000 for a room, a room, 3,000 for a shared room. If I'm paying $6,000 a month for someone in my family to have a room, oh, you better give them the best food possible. There is no alternate food sources. You better be giving them the Ritz. Let's go on. We are hoping that the two sides can come to some type of an agreement very quickly. The Cisco warehouse in Plimpton, south of Boston, is still operating 24-7 with third-party drivers and hopes to be up to 50% of normal capacity by Wednesday. Again, we heard that that didn't happen and that the, the truckers rejected uh, the deal that was offered. The company said, the facility stocks about 13,000 products, according to the company's website, Cisco, which also services restaurants and sports venues, has distribution facilities across the country. Did you hear that, New England Patriots? Did you hear that, Gillette Stadium? Did you hear that? Cisco's huge, you guys. It's a huge company. And here are pictures here of the truckers doing their damn thing. You see them? See how they all come together? It's an all out worker revolt at Cisco. 
Boston walks out on strike. That walkout happened at midnight. They were like, we're out of here. Done. This is the power of the worker. Especially when your job affects the food, the food chain, the supply chain. Hell, I'd ask, you could ask for a lot more right now. Because they need you. They really do need you. While you're at it, throw in anything else that you've been thinking about. Just throw that in the list of demands. Throw it in. Oh, yeah, by the way, we want to get five weeks vacation a year. At least five at a minimum. Add those things in there, too. Sun, moon, let's all go on strike. Shut it all down. The truckers, the railroad workers, and the port workers, put all three of those together, and that is your general strike. You really don't need everyone to quit working like their retail jobs, their restaurant jobs, working at the universities. You re All those people can remain in place. And if you just had those three, that's your general strike. Shutting down the supply chain. Yep, X. Cisco and other countries, uh, companies like them have huge turnover rates because of how demanding they are. I could see that. Bad cookies, mass transit, mass transit general strike. Get truckers, train conductors, bus drivers, dock workers, and ship sailors to strike. Hit them in the pocket where it hurts. They will fill 10 demands and even four more. I bet you Eric really likes that statement. 